and welcome to this week's episode of Lilliputian. So, it is all a little bit of a mess around here because we are getting ready to travel. We are leaving to America. The point is that I am pre-recording videos so that you guys can see videos for the four weeks that we're away in America. So, um, does travel ring a bell? Well, that's because just a few moments ago you read it in, in the title. This video is going to be four tips on how to optimize travel and how to make it a healthy and happy experience. So let's just jump, jump right into it. Tip number one is to before you leave onto the flight. You're always going to be hungry and wanting to eat something. So if you have like um, an airport that has food for vegans, then great. So in our, um, we are leaving from the Joburg airport, there's, a, there's really not a lot. There's a sushi place, there's an Indian place, and then there's Woolworths, that is like a grocery store. So I would recommend maybe avoiding the Indian just because it makes you feel heavy. And it's great sometimes, but right before you're about to fly up into an airplane, it doesn't make me or my stomach feel great. So I'm going to skip the Indian this time and go straight to Woolies and buy a fruit salad, a fruit juice and a huge thing of water. And if I get a little bit more hungry, they also have like a bean salad, basically raw food that, um, you know, will help you because you will be less hungry when you go onto the flight and therefore less compelled to eat all of the airplane food, which really isn't so great. And I just, it makes me feel re refreshed and light, but at the same time really full before I go into the plane. So that is something that I really love doing. And so I said I was going to buy a water, and that leads me to the, my second tip, which is drink water, guys. You do not understand how much it is going to help you. Um, on the planes, some airlines give you like those little round things about this big of water, and some people give, some airlines give you like a, like a, um, how many milliliters is this? But it's just like a little water, water bottle like this, not the full one. So I recommend, don't be scared. If you're on economy, if you're on first class, if you're on business class, to ask for water. Just call a hostess and just say, can I please have two more bottles of water? And that'll keep you going for a little while. And then if you need more, then ask for more. So our, we're flying for 30 hours to go there because we're not flying direct. So I would say, within the time that I'm flying, I would like to finish, the, we're flying Emirates, so they give you like little ones like this. Um, I reckon I should have eight bottles to keep me going. Now my mom is so much more pro at this. She drinks like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. But like a lot of them, I don't really feel like drinking on airplanes, but I force myself to. So usually I'm not like 100% great at it, but this time I'm gonna be, I'm gonna drink that water, guys. I'm gonna drink a lot of that water. So the third tip is how to avoid germs on a plane. So planes are germy, there we all know that. After you get off, you're feeling terrible and you think it's just jet lag, but then two days later you get a cold and then you remember that the person next to you was sniffing like crazy and then you remember why you got it. The person next to you on the airplane was sniffing like crazy. Um and so I recommend just like over here on your nostrils, you can get um you know Batraban, like for um, to disinfect like any scratches that you get. Well, they have something called nasal Batraban, so you just put it just over there. It's sort of like a gel. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but you can like master the art of like make, not feeling it at all. And just having that is going to like make the germs go away from your nose. And I find it actually really helps. And on the same tip, on the same note, if you get like a little lavender spray, um, you could get like you know, buy a little thing of lavender extract, put it in a little straight spray bottle with some water and just spray it. It really helps when you're sitting next to everybody because some people smell a little bit and it, it'll help you sleep and I'm sure they won't mind because who doesn't like lavender? So just, you know, spray that even maybe before they take their seat, just spray and then like once they're sleeping, just like, you know, silently spray um, because it'll just make you feel way more refreshed. Fourth and final, but definitely not least, um, important tip is to walk. 
Now, when you're on a plane, you're thinking, you've got the mindset, oh, I'm, on, I'm in a small space, I sit here and I stay here the, the whole time, this whole time. But that is definitely not true. Get up and walk, guys. It is, you would be surprised if, how, you would be surprised how much you can walk on an airplane. Just going from, like, walking the whole way, guys, multiple times. Going to, um, after they give you your food, the air hostesses go to the back of the plane, like all of them are at the very back and they chat and stuff. So if you're in like an A380 or a 777, then there's the back and then I think there's like two little spaces, like one for business and first and one for economy. So just go back to like that open space where they keep all the fridges and the food and just do some stretches, guys. Don't be scared. They see it every day. They fly every day. You know, just sit there, you know, do some... Stretching. You don't even have to be sitting, you can be standing, just like, you know, lift your leg, do some feet twirls, <laughs> all, just stuff like that, and just move a little bit, because there's been scientific evidence that if you sit for more than, I think it was 72 minutes, your body and your digestive system go into, like, a hibernation. I'll give you a link down below of, like, exactly what I'm talking about, but basically, if you just get up, and you move every 72 minutes, it is going to help you so, so, so much. So my dad is a very frequent traveler, and he says that um, he goes to the back of the plane, he can bring his phone, he can do whatever, he can stand there for up to an hour, just standing, you know, moving a little bit, because when you're flying 30 hours, guys, it really is going to make a difference, and I recommend it 100%. So that is what I'm going to be doing on, your, on my flight, and I'm very excited to go and I will be back with you in a month no well five weeks because I'm leaving on Friday so I will come back um, I will be back at you with so many American videos hopefully I'm gonna try my very hardest so I'll see you guys there don't forget to check out all the links down below live life love life and have a great week bye